Hi, this is Rich Formidoni from Korg USA, and I'm here at craftmusic.com to tell you about the SV1. And uh, in case you're thinking about picking one up, know that craftmusic.com has some great bundles for you. So in case you need to use the SV1 on stage, there's a bundle for that. If you want to use it at home, there's a great bundle of accessories for that. So no matter where you're going to use your SV1, Craft Music will take care of you with all the other stuff you're going to need. So let's take a guided tour. The SV-1 Stage Vintage Piano from Korg recreates lots of retro keyboard sounds with some beautiful new grand pianos as well. There are organs, clavs, electric pianos, everything you could really want for stage use is right here. And if you notice, looking at the SV-1 is a lot of fun too. It has a beautiful, beautiful interface. So you'll, you'll notice there's no menus, no displays, just buttons and knobs and a tube, which we'll get into in a minute but it's got a sleek, roadworthy case. It's a lot of fun to gig with, and it's a really rewarding playing experience. So being that it's called the Stage Vintage Piano, it's gotta have a great piano sound. So let me show you what we got here. This is our German Grand Piano. So in addition to the acoustic pianos, there's tons of electric pianos as well, and they're very easy to get to. So right on the front panel of the SV-1, you can select sounds a couple of different ways. There is a uh, sound type knob, which gives you different categories, electric piano 1, 2, clav, pianos, or organs, and other. And within each one of those categories, there are six different sounds to choose from. So you can do it that way, and once you find the sound you like, you can program them on the favorites buttons. So if you find a, a sound that really works for you, all you got to do is hold down a button, it starts blinking, press it again, and you just save that sound. It's just like saving a radio preset in your car. So on stage, your favorite sounds are really easy to get to. So let me show you some of the electric pianos. As we're playing these sounds, there's lots of different ways to modulate them. So where you might have had lots of different stomp boxes to alter the sound of your electric pianos, we've recreated all those right on the front panel. So there are two effects sections, pre-effects and modulation effects. And what these do is they accurately model vintage stomp boxes and studio effects that were very common with these retro keyboard instruments. So for example here, if I'm playing this electric piano sound, and I want to get a little vibrato on it, all I have to do is turn on the pre-effects section, select vibrato, and I've got adjustable speed and intensity. Or if I want to add a little bit of phaser to it, I can actually turn on the modulation effects section and the phaser is already selected. So we've got a couple of different phasers, a flanger, and some great rotary emulation, which goes terrific with our organ sounds. So we've got lots of vintage organs here, some, some very in-demand stuff. So there's lots of classic organs in here, from Vox to other classic tone wheel organs. And being that I've got three pedals down here, one of them is a foot switch. And as I was just playing there, I used the foot switch to change the speed of our rotary speaker emulation. So I'll do that again with a different organ sound, and this time I'll press the slow fast button. That's a dedicated button right on the front panel. There are also some smoke and clav recreations in here as well. And uh, to add some polish to them, one of the effects that we've got is an authentic Vox Wah model. So very often you'd see a Vox Wah pedal next to a clav to give it, uh, give it a little character, and we've recreated that here. So all you need to do is plug in an expression pedal, and you're good to go. Wow. 
So as you're customizing the sound, you'll notice that there is a dedicated three-band EQ on the left side. So you can sculpt the bass, mid, and treble, and if you need to get back to zero quickly, these knobs are also push buttons. So you can uh, quickly get back to zero there and turn the uh, equalizer on and off with this button right here, just like every other section in the SV-1. Now right next to the EQ section is an honest to goodness tube and it may look real good but it is it is actually cooking it's really warm and it's tied to our amplifier model section so we actually have six recreations of vintage amplifiers including an organ amp and tied to the tube all you need to do is crank up the drive knob and you get a real warm natural overdrive so for example here's an electric piano that's direct into a board And now here's the same electric piano with an amplifier model turned on. So in addition to the electric pianos, organs, and acoustic piano sounds, we've also got uh, some other flavors for you. Here's a beautiful string sound. And if you need something that's a, a little more vintage than that, possibly a slightly mellower string sound, here you go. We've also included some really tasty synth recreations for you as well, so sounds that you'll recognize and instantly know how to play. Finally, there's a dedicated reverb and delay section. So if you need to add some ambience to your sounds, it's as easy as reaching your right hand over, turning the effect on, choosing which one you want, and adding the depth. So here's a nice hall reverb on our acoustic pianos. Or if we wanted to do something a little more uh, vintage tech, we can get an electric piano going, add some tape echo. In addition to a damper pedal, the SV-1 also ships with a music stand. So if you've got some sheet music, you can just pop this guy right in there and you're ready to go. Now on the back panel of the SV-1, we've got all the connections you need to make your stage performance shine. In addition to the quarter inch outputs, we have XLR outputs, so there's no need for a direct box. You can go right into the front of house console and uh, make your engineer very happy. There's room for three pedal connections and audio inputs. So if you're running a two keyboard setup, you can just run the other board right into this one. It'll bypass all the effects and everything, go straight to the master outs. So real convenient if you've got a couple of inputs. There's also a USB port, and we'll show you what's up with that in just a second. The SV-1 is just at home in your computer-based studio as it is on stage. So right now I've got it plugged into my computer using USB and we've got the editor librarian open. Now the beautiful thing is you can do lots of stuff in the editor that you can't do on the front panel of the SV-1. So for example with our amplifier models you can also customize the cabinet that they're running through and uh, get to a few more effect parameters than you can right on the front panel of the SV-1. You can also use this to archive and save all your favorite sounds. So if you want more than 36 available to you on the front panel, you can save them on your computer and call up the ones you need for the gig. The SV-1 comes in two different sizes. We've been playing with the 88 key version. And there's also a 73 key version. Both of these feature our RH3 graded hammer action piano keys. And the 73 key version comes in a beautiful red panel with black end caps. Both of them are very slim, very portable, and an awful lot of fun to gig with. So thanks very much for watching. And remember, craftmusic.com has bundles for absolutely every situation you need. So you know you're going to get taken care of when you buy from here. Thanks again. Wow, 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 wow,